Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, forgive me if I seem distracted. I've been preoccupied of late with uh, questions of morality. Of right and wrong. Good and evil. Sometimes the delineation between the two is a sharp line. Sometimes it's a blur. And often it's like pornography. You just know when you see it. A man is dead. I don't mean to make light of that, but these questions, these questions are vital ones because they tether us to each other, to humanity. Not everyone feels this way. Not everyone sees the sharp line, only the blur. A man is dead. A, a man is dead. And my client, John Healy, took his life. This is not in dispute. It is a matter of record, of fact. And facts have no moral judgment. They merely state what is, not what we think of them, not what we feel. They just are. What was in my client's heart when he took Mr. Prohaska's life, whether he is a good man or something else entirely, is irrelevant. These questions of good and evil, as important as they are, have no place in a court of law. Only the facts matter. My client claims he acted in self-defense. Mr. Prohaska's associates have refused to make a statement regarding the incident. The only other witness, a frightened young woman, has stated that my client was pleasant and friendly, and that she only saw the struggle with Mr. Prohaska after it had started. Those are the facts. Based on these, and these alone, the prosecution has failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that my client was not acting solely in self-defense. And those, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, are the facts. My client, based purely on the sanctity of the law, which we've all sworn an oath to uphold, must be acquitted of these charges. Now, beyond that, beyond these walls, he may well face a judgment of his own making. You've been charged with multiple capital crimes, been called a killer incapable of empathy or remorse. Mm. Yeah. So I hear. Frank, may I call you Frank? Yeah. Frank, we've heard a lot about neurochemistry and psychology and all things unfolding scientifically and otherwise inside your brain. I just have one question I want to ask. What happened that day? The day your family was so tragically killed? It's okay, Frank. I understand it's difficult. Do you? Do you understand? Because I don't think you understand shit. Permission to treat the witnesses hostile, Your Honor? Granted. All right, Frank. You don't want to tell us? I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you exactly what kind of man you are. You're the kind of man this city needs. Because, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all know this city needs help. It needs it now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not when the day comes when the corruption that Wilson Fisk left in his wake is flushed out for good and the police force is finally back on its feet. We need it now. This city's been sick. 
And the cops, they can't fix it alone. They need, we all need, men and women who are willing to take the fight themselves, the kind of people who risk their lives so that we can walk safe at night in our own neighborhoods. The ones our esteemed district attorney here is trying so hard to destroy. New York needs these people. We need heroes. Order. The help they offer. And the hope that they provide. Frank Castle wanted to help, but he took it too far. He shot people. He killed people. It's against the law. And he broke that law many, many times. Now, I don't like him any more than you do, but here's the thing. He's not a common criminal. He's not malicious in intent. Frank Castle is actually a good man. He just, he doesn't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. And he doesn't need punishment for that. He needs help. Our help. That's the kind of man Frank Castle is. And now you have to decide what kind of jury you want to be. That's great. Thank you. Well, I have some good news, Peter. I don't believe any of the charges against you are going to stick. Wait, seriously? Uh, I knew it. Oh my God, Mr. Murdoch, thank you. That's, thank you. That's amazing. You're welcome. Perfect. He would, you said there's no charge. I, I could say uh, under advisement of counsel, uh, I refuse to answer the question respectfully because I, uh, the answer could incriminate me because it's on I mean, saying good fellas. What the thing is saying good fellas? I, I know that's what you think. Calm down. Let's hear what he has to say. Matt? You're going to need a really good lawyer. Peter, you may have dodged your legal troubles, but things will get much worse. There is still a court of public opinion. How did you just do that? I'm a really good lawyer. 